All right, so we know that Tesla's been taking the world by storm, right? They first came out and then a lot of car makers are like, electric, that's bullshit. <laughs> and now every single car maker is trying to catch up nah. to make electric cars. Losers. Which is uh, pretty crazy, because now they, uh, Tesla should have changed the game. But now, not by Tesla or Elon Musk, the world's largest electric plane takes its first 28-minute first flight. Oh, wow. So slow. So you don't even know how, we don't know, yeah, you don't know the distance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it wasn't in the air that long. Maybe they're just testing it. Were you thinking Maybe 28 miles down. per hour? Because <laughs> <laughs> what if that shit went, shoom, LA to New York, 28 minutes, bro. Oh, shit. I, I, shit. I'd be down, I'd be down. Yeah, oh, fuck yeah. I just picture it going for me. But what if it didn't? Mm -hmm. Oh, you think it just reaches the air in 28 minutes? What if it did that fast, LA to New York? But your chances of dying are like now 50%. Nah. I'm yeah, no, no, I'm not fucking with it. I'm definitely, yeah, yeah. Regular I plan. do like the idea of an electric plane because, like, the one thing that I don't know why, but Tiff always books the fucking, uh, our seats are right at the back where the fucking engine's at. And it's oh, like, I don't know why. Because she's booking them late. Um, all the front ones are filled up. I see. Because that happens yeah. to me too. It's an electric one, though. Is it loud? You think it'd be better? Yeah, everyone would be sleeping. I don't know how loud it is, but what they do is, That's have you guys loud heard loud. of uh, Cessnas? Yeah. They're like private planes. <laughs> so they took it. Sounds like they're just trying to, sounds like they're like, Tesla, we're Cessna. <laughs> <laughs> so they took the Cessna Caravan 28B and they uh, use it in, the, uh, it's a collaboration between them and this engine company called Magna X. And um, what's pretty crazy is since this is the first electric plane um, all they have to do is keep working at it and this could revolutionize the entire flight industry which is perfect timing because no one's really taking flights right now mm. so i think it's forcing a lot of the bigger airplane companies to go oh shit who are these new guys coming around town because they need they, to stop using oil yeah because it could drastically affect the flight prices which is cool mm. which is pretty nuts airline fuel it's expensive oh yeah but damn, how do you like, I get, I feel like it just would take so long to charge up. Right. How about Tesla? How cars, long do they take? Because cars take a long time. But not that long. I feel like so, they're pretty quick. So if you have uh, like the regular charging thing, I think um, it takes, I think maybe three hours. Uh -huh. And then if you go to one of those Tesla charging stations, yeah. um, they're like 30 minutes. For like real? 45 minutes. Yeah, so with 30 minutes like, for a car, like how much for a plane? Yeah, but maybe they can swap the battery. Swap the battery, yeah, like a, like uh, they come in and it's like a pit stop and then the battery comes out and oh, another that's one. Awesome. Like, that's, tight. that's what the Tesla, like the, I don't know what they call that one, like a super, super star, uh, charging station. They, the, what happens, you drive on this thing and then it enters like the autopilot so where it knows what to do and all these things come out where they go and unscrew your car, all robotics, right? Damn. Replaces the battery with a brand new battery, uh, and then tightens everything back to uh, factory this? spec. The Tesla like uh, charging station. So it's like like a, a car wash. You drive into it, and it's yeah. just like and you stop in there, and then it's like. Yeah. And then. Uh, and then you drive out. You could do two changes in the time that it takes to fill up a regular tank of gas. That's tight. Oh, wow. That's fast. This is, exists right now. Yeah, if you look it up, you'll find a video on it. He had like the whole demonstration. Are you ever scared of how people could hack into your car like and, and like fuck with it and like make it crash and stuff? Because it's connected to like Bluetooth and satellites and shit. I mean, no, I never was scared of that. I well, that happened. Now I am. <laughs> it happens. I heard. Well, I assassinated with that. Yeah. What? Like you're yeah. in a Tahoe, in a, like one of those un unmarked Tahoes. Oh, he they, got in a car crash. Yeah, they hack like a, your OnStar, and they, that's how it's, they assassinate some like dignitaries and politicians and stuff in a car crash. Mm -hmm. Wait, so how does the, it take control? They can already take control. Wait, yeah. so the car mm -hmm. itself starts steering on its own? So the minute, yeah, so the minute your car, which almost all cars these days have a two-way communication, mm -hmm. they can already find a way to hijack your car. Hmm. But steer it and like make it break or just like turn it off? However they need to crash around. Speed up. Just change the station. Make the brakes go out. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess like, you know, depending on how much you hack the shit, you could do that. Cause I remember like my boy who was good at like hacking people, um, he could literally, he can make your like CD drive open up from your from his computer. Oh. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah, very scary. I would just make like a certain song keep coming on. Oh god. Damn. <laughs> it, on your end, you're like, damn, that's scary, but for the other end, you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what, dude? It's your, just your fucking CD. Your <laughs> man broken. Give him two weeks, though. He's gonna be doing other shit. Yeah. 
Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this was back in like high school. Yeah. That's why if I was a ghost, I would just fuck with people. Oh, I would definitely fuck with people. Only your friends, huh? Yeah, you'd be a, yeah, yeah. You'd be a hacker ghost? Yeah, I would just be like opening your shit, like. Whenever people leave comments telling me to kill myself on the internet, I say, yeah, all right, but I'm gonna fucking haunt you, bro. I'm gonna fucking like. Because you'll know. Yeah. You'd probably love it. Put my finger in your butt. Uh -oh. Maybe that's the closest they could ever be to you, so they just What's like, more, I like, like it. A, a guy saying that, would they get more in trouble? Then you saying, yeah, I'm gonna molest you when I'm a ghost. <laughs> it was like hype, like fake, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Can no, you right. say that if you're a ghost, I'm gonna molest you? Like, are you still part of the Me Too move? I'm gonna ghost molest. I wouldn't say I would ghost molest somebody. But we'll I give a new meaning to. It getting depends ghosted. on what the ghost community thinks about that. Oh right. You have to cross over to the other mm -hmm. side to figure that out. The the yeah. ghost public court, court of public opinion. You might have to ghost them. <laughs> <laughs> Bart, his face. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what these people are saying. This is not my article. <laughs> no, I was just thinking about if, like, if Kevin Spacey died, if people would be sad. What? Well, <laughs> uh, now? I don't know. Like, people might Don't go, be like, good riddance. Really? You don't think people would be like, I, I was too hard on him. Twitter would be like, good riddance. I think, I think most people would be like, good riddance. When, when someone that is, is canceled yeah. dies. Yeah. Yeah. Like if uh, um, Bill Cosby died, they would be super. Oh, they would 100% be like good riddance. Well, I think it would be it would be people That's on both true. sides. Imagine but, being yeah. from the past and you like and you're now we go back in time and we're like, yeah, Bill Cosby's dead, and, and you'd be like, what? That's crazy. And you'd be like, nah, it's good. And like, yeah, that's true, right? Yeah. The people that didn't find out what he did. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You think about like look at Michael Jackson when he passed away. Like, everyone was mourning for Cause him. Cause Michael didn't do shit, homie! Yeah, but before, before <laughs> Michael passed away, he's always carried the stigma. Yeah. And the people were always kinda like, I don't know, man, Michael's kinda, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Michael Wacko Jack We didn't really have social media like we did now, though. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Let's do the opposite. Let's say Michael, in his grave, he goes, <laughs> he comes back. Comes back. <laughs> you think people would be like, "Ew, you pedophile?" No, nope. well, uh, no, they wouldn't. I'd he be like, "Thank yeah. God he's back now, well, Michael." Can you tell us what convicted. happened? He wasn't convicted. Yeah. Oh, true, convicted. true. Yeah, I think it's way different if you're, uh, you know, if you're alleged. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Because it's like there's a difference between. Um, What's his name, Mr. Miramax? Uh, Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. He's going to jail. He like, I think everybody wants him. Like, if he died, true. they're like, great. Isn't he already in jail? Yeah, no? he's already in jail. Well, oh, yeah. but then they removed him to a different part when COVID happened, because I guess he got COVID or something. Did he? His health is deteriorating. Yeah. He's like on a, the little walkers. Oh, he's it. Yeah, he's yeah. for sure faking that. He looks in bad. He wants pity. Yeah. He probably just had his like makeup movie magic friends come make him up to look all shitty and sick so he can get some sympathy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Corona was a way to hide the whole Epstein thing? Oh, like a distraction, like a big distraction. <laughs> There's so many. Uh, There's so many conspiracy theories. theories yeah. Because <laughs> if Epstein was alive, it's and a global he distraction. Fucking ratted. It's almost so many world leaders, celebrities, Ryan. CEOs. We're gonna know who out of all the butt, like all of the leaders, was a molester. Mm -hmm. Who fucked like teen girls and all that shit. I don't, I don't think they needed Corona. I think they just killed him, that's all. No, they, they didn't need to start like a whole pandemic. But then they also, after he died, there's all these things coming out like, oh shit, it's an inside job. And I think it was creating more of a mystery, so it raises more questions. I think it was dying down though. People don't care. Before Corona happened. The documentary was, like, the, came out though. The documentary now. just came out now. Yeah. Just in time for Corona. I know. I can't wait to watch it. It's not even being talked about like, Joe Exotic went crazier than this. Yeah, true. I mean, you just dropped. Dude, they just fucking, like, dude, UFOs and nobody gives a shit. I know, right? Isn't that crazy? No one gives a shit about the UFOs. But people like Tiger King. Oh, yeah, Tiger King. You I know they're working on a scripted version. Yeah. 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 No, but how can they make it more interesting than that? Like, the real is better than. Yeah, yeah. real is way better. Like, but like but here's what they're gonna do: is they're gonna just they're gonna play up the funny part of it. I feel. You know what I'm saying? Comedy. Because you have all these crazy like characters. Already got so heightened in real life. True. There's like how how much more heightened could you get? But now you can add like dialogue, like ri just ridiculous situations, sex. Scenes. Imagine yeah. how much they had to cut out of that. Right. True, it's, it's probably cut. crazy -er. And it's still a documentary where they had to form a story to where like, yeah. Oh, damn. And I always think, cause you, you always have your eyes and just like, no, no, cause I'm imagining no, things, right? So you know the Carol Baskin part? Mm -hmm. There's a part where they start diving more and more into her world, right? Yeah. And then 
There's already people that are like, I've been volunteering for five years. How about you? Yeah, you little bitch. You wear a blue shirt. I wear a yellow <laughs> shirt. And I'm like, that world is already so fucking ridiculous. Mm -hmm. How do you heighten the world like that? Well, here's the thing. Now that they have the rights to it, they can they can go wherever they want with it. You know what I'm saying? They can add fucking extra tiger attacks. They can add <laughs> fucking more shit. The dope thing is like Joe Exotic is like, yeah, fucking make it crazier. Guess who's playing Joe Exotic is what I heard. Ooh. Nicolas Cage. No. I like it. No. See? I like it. They should have had uh, Joe Dirt. <laughs> fucking oh, David Spade. David Spade. Because he looks way he more. He does look like him. I think it's gonna be dope. Channing Tatum I for like the uh, the, 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 the one lover yeah. boy. Yeah. yeah, me too. Cause I can kind of see a Reno 911, but I thought I think the reality is what makes it yeah. so good. Mm -hmm. Cause everyone's intentions are pure, and this is how crazy they really are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially the the rat at the end, the guy on the fucking the jet ski. Oh my god. Like so if that funny. show was scripted, they should have big ad play I, that I'd guy. I feel like yeah. that's not believable. But the fact that it was real, it was yeah. like so much more it's funny. It's way better because if. Imagine if it was scripted, right? We go, ah, uh, over the top, yeah, you're trying exactly. too hard. Trying too hard. What is this, a sketch show? Mm-hmm. But yeah. then because it's real, I think that's where the magic is, man. And now we can watch the scripted one and be like, oh yeah, oh, 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 they're doing the thing! Just like in the real thing! Dude, that, that role <laughs> should have been played by, what's his face from Eastbound and Down? Because oh, Danny McBride oh. would have been perfect Ooh, in that McBride. role. Danny McBride. Did you ever watch the guy in uh, Tropic Thunder where he wants to blow everything up? Explosive dude. Or a uh, pineapple. Oh, Express. the older guy. Yeah, he has a good. Like, oh, Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now he's a little too big, though. Yeah, he can lose weight. He can lose some weight, but he he's got the right type, like the right brand. Who's the other character that he plays? The Eastbound and Down. No, the, the Katie Powers. Katie Powers. Katie Powers. Katie Powers.